loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Let's go ahead and talk about this week ahead, which is the week of February 26, 2019. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing is the fact that the sun is moving through the sign of Pisces. Not only is the sun moving through the sign of Pisces, but Mercury is moving through the sign of Pisces. Now this is so important. Why? Well, because Pisces is not of this world. Pisces energy is not here grounded. It is up in the cosmos. It's dreaming. It's imaginative. It's creative. It's romantic. It's idealistic. It's this illusion, this fantasy. It's this ability to paint the world in a, in a way that we see color. We experience color. We taste color. We hear color. It's, it's truly, it's like magic. But the thing is, is that if you are trying to logically figure things out, if you're trying to use common sense, it's just not, it's just not gonna work out. The struggle is gonna be a little too real. And basically, why this is and how you should work with this is allow yourself to drift allow yourself to be to use your imagination allow yourself to think of the impossible allow yourself to conceptualize to visualize connect with people that may are different from you connect with people who inspire you if there's artistic projects if there is romance if there is a love if there is healing that needs to be done that you want to experience this is the time to connect with it let me go ahead and adjust my camera settings really quickly bang bang boom got it okay the other thing is that mercury ruling our mind is going to go retrograde mercury ruling communication mercury ruling messages and messengers is going to go retrograde on the fifth which is in just a few short days and what happens is that as Mercury's preparing to go retrograde, he's not as strong as he normally is. In fact, he's still, he's definitely 100% foggy, especially even more now that he's moving through the sign of Pisces. So I personally love Mercury retrograde. I have, I think, three videos of me explaining how to use Mercury, Mercury retrograde for your greatest good so that you can thrive, so that you can make magic. I don't think that Mercury retrograde is a bad thing. In fact, I've actually been waiting for Mercury retrograde for the last month and a half for the last month and a half to happen so that I could work specific um, magic for that. When Mercury goes retrograde, again, you just can't, you know, your steps forward are, or your progress forward doesn't look the same. In fact, it's, you have to take steps back in order to kind of retrace things that you have left behind or to find certain things that the universe says, wait, 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 before you go forward, you're going to need this, you're going to need this. Don't you know, pass go, don't collect $200 yet. It's there, it's waiting for you, but before you get there, you're gonna need these few things to come with you along that journey. And the thing is, is that because the mind and because the universe is asking you to kind of retrace your steps, it's your ability to think straight or your ability to think for the future is not as clear, especially in the side of Pisces, because it's asking you to reconnect to that vision, to creativity, to healing, to romance, to love. This is when people reconnect with soulmates, with um, past, past flings or past connections from this lifetime and other lifetimes. And in, in my eyes, I look at that as a very good thing. I look at that as a very positive thing. And why is this? Well, because Pisces connects to healing always. Pisces connects to connection to the divine and hearing messages. And Pisces connects to artistic endeavors and creativity. And Pisces also connects to true love and soulmates. That next level of compassion. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which is the higher octave of Venus. And basically what this does is it takes romance and our experiences to the next level. It takes it to the divine. It takes it to a spiritual level. And that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing is that you guys are connecting more with the spiritual sides of yourself and not so much the mental, the logical, you know, the, the physical. There were a few cards that, that jumped out for me, for all of us this week. And one is the Empress. And then the Seven of Cups. I don't know if it's going to focus because my camera's having a hard time with me today. It's all right. Just like we're having a hard time focusing, my camera's having a hard time focusing. But the Seven of Cups rules um, fantasy illusion and then the Ace of Wands represents that passion and that desire. So basically what it is that I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing and what I can you know, see within my meditation that I wanna share with you guys in today's message is that there is this spark that's going to be happening this week and it's like lighting a match. 
and it could be in any area of your life. It totally depends on your chart. It totally depends on the transits that are going on around you. But either way, what I'm seeing is someone striking a match and that match kind of lighting up. And basically what this is, is it's passion. You wanna be playful with this. You wanna have fun with this. You don't wanna take it too seriously. Not to say that it can't develop into something more serious or that it doesn't have you know long lasting potential, but it's this need to kind of have fun with it. This, it's this need to enjoy it. It's this need to not take it too heavy, not too serious, because you wanna give it light and you wanna give it life. To give it life, play with it, be playful. Pisces, again, is not is not an, a, a sign that wants to be taken seriously in the way that you know you have these like heavy duty conversations it's all about you know what can happen what are the what is the potential what are the possibilities the only way for us to do that is to explore and to experience and to try it out and that's when your mind expands that's when you get you know inspired again and i'm seeing you guys in the empress the, with the empress card and the empress is all about being able to receive but in a way that the more that you are allowing yourself to receive, the more that you're allowing yourself to share and give love, the more that you allow yourself to create and to be creative, the more you will expand, the more that you will grow. Whenever you see the Empress card, especially with the Ace of Wands, this is, again, that there's something being born here. There's something coming to life. And this is happening this week. And the thing is, is that I really want you guys, you know, Again, I, I feel like a broken record, but I say this all the time. When we're working our magic, it's not always about actively doing. That's one part of it. That's 50% of it. But the other per percentage is you being able to receive and you being able to go into a space where play is very important, where creation is very important, where love and vulnerability is very important, but also strength and boundaries. That's one thing, too, is that Mercury... Moving to the sign of Pisces reminds you that you do need a, a healthy sense of boundaries because you can bleed into the energy of others and others can bleed into the energy of you. But again, the Empress is not a weak card. She's actually very strong. Her magic comes from her ability to um, you know, clearly know what it is that she wants and not accept anything less than that. So that's what it is that I'm seeing, you guys. I'm also seeing interesting like dynamics with conversation and, and you know how you're communicating with others and messages that are coming through. They're almost very faded. It's almost like connecting with someone that you, you may have known that feels like family or feels like an instant friend. But the reason why this is is because the North Node, the North Node rules, you know, where it is that we're headed, where it is that we're striving to go towards. And the North Node falls within the sign of Cancer. And Cancer is the familiar. Cancer is family. Cancer is, you know what, this sense of belonging that I have with you, which is crazy that I'm saying that because literally yesterday, I pulled the four of wands with was there. The, the message that came to me is where do you belong? Where where do you belong? It's sometimes it's not a physical spot. For others it is. I have a friend right now who's leaving New Orleans, but he's found where he belongs. Maybe your space and your place is a physical location. Maybe it's um, a location of healing, a spiritual um, space of healing. Maybe it's a spot in someone's heart, but either way, that's what it is that we need to focus on is where do I belong in this world? And wh where is my place in this world? It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be a physical. It could be a metaphor. It could be this, you know, an, an, an energetic space. So that's what it is I'm seeing this week. And I'm seeing a lot of things kind of connecting and stringing together. It's like the, the dots are starting to be connected. Now, I don't want you guys to get frustrated. I actually want you guys to be very open to receiving. Remember, when you're working with Pisces, you're working with the energy of the ocean. The ocean is not something that it is that you want to fight. You want to lift your feet up. You want to float and allow it to take you to the shores that it's destined to. It's almost like if you don't want to think of the ocean as, um, you know, carrying you, then think of it as this current and this current that has energetically been brewing and, you know, is there designed to take you to the right place at the right time to guide you to the shore where it, you'll be abundantly taken care of. And it's the other thing is that I had this message earlier on this week, which says this dream that you have, this vision, this wish, it's not wishful thinking. It's actually, it's actually placed in you by the divine for you to pursue it, for you to seek it, for you to ask for it. And it's coming to you through your dreams. It's coming to you through your subconscious. It's coming through you through these visions that it is that you're having, these signs that it is that you're seeing. 
And that all of it, all of that is coming to you now as Mercury is moving through the sign of Pisces, as the sun is moving through Pisces, as Neptune has been moving through the sign of Pisces. And, and as Chiron has moved out of Pisces into the sign of Aries. So it, this is all about how your healing is going to change and how your life is going to change for the better if you're open to it. And again, if you allow yourself to flow with this, too many people are you know, being guided right now to fight, to force, and it's just going to backfire. It's like trying to, you know, it, like the ocean. It's like if you're building a sand castle and you have this moat around the ocean or around the castle and the ocean comes in, the wave comes in and you're like trying to push it out and like the sand just kind of collapses and the castle, it's just, why are you fighting it? Like why are you so close to the shore? Lift your feet up and allow yourself to be guided somewhere else so that you can build um, security for yourself that actually is lasting and while you're at it, have fun, have fun with it. So that's what it is that I'm seeing this week, you guys. Um, I really highly suggest that you guys check out my video on how to work with Mercury Retrograde. It was done like a year and some change ago, and I say a lot of ums and uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it is what it is, that the information is still there for you and it's very valuable, and I want you guys to be able to use this for your highest and greatest good versus you becoming a victim of it. As soon as Mercury goes retrograde, everyone's gonna be like, <laughs> Mercury retrograde, grab your gun. And it's just like, relax. Mercury retrograde is one of the best things that can happen to you if you know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing and I'm sharing that information with you guys. So honestly, I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't think I don't see that as soon as I upload a video, I get like five thumbs up. I, there's no way that you could have watched this video in two seconds or three seconds or five seconds. But the support is there and I'm feeling it. I'm thriving off of it. And I can't wait to share with you a message that I like of my own life, but I just think it's gonna inspire you guys and it's a gift that I'm gonna be giving to you very shortly and that I'm working on right now, but it's a testament to what magic can do and what setting intention can do. So make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications because as soon as that video goes up, you'll be notified and you can receive the benefit of it. Again, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.